Snipe Squad, what's going on, man? Quickly, before the video started, guys, I kind of forgot in the video it was a lot going on. I am doing a giveaway with Premium Kicks. Huge shout out to Premium Kicks for allowing me to come through, do videos there, and also be able to get back to you guys. So make sure if you're interested to be a part of the giveaway, you follow the very, very simple rules posted over on my Instagram. Now, my last post on my Instagram is where you find all the information on the Jordan Hair Sixes. Good luck to everybody who want to be a part of it. And like I said, man, more giveaways on the way just to show love back to the squad so man if you are not already subscribed to the channel make sure you smash up that like button and before we get into the video i have to give a huge shout out for the sponsor of the video as well rejuvenator guys make sure you're checking out rejuvenator i can't say it enough man these products i use on a daily basis what i'm holding in my hand right now is the rejuvenator water standard repellent this is probably like the most this is probably yeah definitely this is probably my most loved product of rejuvenator because i simply just like this simple simplicity of it. you grab a shoe you spray it down and you let it sit for about five or six hours after you wear the sneaker you can wear it like through the mud through the rain spill coffee spill ketchup spill mustard your shoe is just a1 okay you just wipe it off they also have stuff like the rejuvenator sneaker cleaning solution for my people who wondering what can they do or what can they use to make sure that their shoes stay clean after a long day all these products and more can be found over at rejuvenator but the catch is Buy it using my link. My link though. Use my link. Using my link definitely helps me out, man. It helps the channel grow. And I also just let Rejuvenator know that I'm actually bringing people in, man. So that really helps me a lot. And on top of that, anytime you use that link and you buy anything, any product from that link, all you have to do is send that over to me, screenshot it on Instagram or Twitter, and I will shout you out just for showing me love, man. I gotta show the love back. So guys, make sure you signing up for the Hair 6 giveaway. Good luck to everybody, man. And on top of that, the Hair 6 was pushed back. So you definitely gonna get it early. That's that's, that's something that's crazy. Good luck to everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Let's get into the video. Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again. It is your boy Sniper Jones Jones. I am back with another video for your head top. Once again, guys, we are in Premium Kicks Atlanta. Premium Kicks ATL for my people who don't know. If you're new to Atlanta, if you come to Atlanta, make sure you check out Premium Kicks. I'll leave their Instagram down below and I will also throw it right there on the screen for all you guys to check it out. So today, we here with another sneaker. Not a normal sneaker from Jordan Brand's perspective. They are celebrating the 30th year of Jordan Brand and they have decided to come out with an Air Jordan 5 Top 3. Now right off the bat, I gotta say, Air Jordan 5s are not my most favorite silhouettes just because they're very bulky, very big. The only Jordan 5s I really rock with are like the classics, you know what I'm saying? I got some Jordan 5s behind me. Some of those are fire too. But the classic, like the great Jordan 5s, I like the fire reds, I like the metallic black. Those are like a few of the basics. And then of course we got like the, the for the hype guys out there, of course, you know, I, I love me some DB files, but I wasn't trying to, you know, be hype. I, I was talking about more like the other releases. Comment down below your favorite Air Jordan 5 since we over here talking about the Jordan 5s because like I said, they're not really one of my favorites. I don't even know how Jordan used to score points in, in a five. You know how bulky a five is, bro? I can only imagine pooping in an Air Jordan five. I'd probably be like three points, two rebounds, and like seven fives. That's that's probably my stats if I was to hoop in an Air Jordan five. I'm not gonna hold you. Wolf Grade five are definitely one of my favorites too, but we come here today to talk about the Jordan top three Air Jordan five. Supposed to release June 13th for a retail price of two hundred dollars air jordan has been doing an amazing job every shoe just about has been selling out i think we have came to a crossroads where we finally have a shoe that won't sell out if this shoe sells out i would be very very surprised but only because this shoe isn't like an iconic shoe it's not a flint 13 a bread four black cement three fire red five it's just made up so i don't know how the success factor is going to go in this but regardless it's still an air jordan release and we love our air jordan so without further ado Let's get into the Air Jordan 5 Top 3. Yeah, yeah, here we have the box. It's our regular, regular, everyday Air Jordan 5 box. Now, guys, I'm not going to cap. For anniversary, if you're going to give us a shoe for anniversary and I have all these colorways in it, I just thought that maybe you should give us an anniversary box, right? I mean, I know a lot of y'all don't really care about the boxing. I, I'm really one of those box guys. So going into it, I'm like, okay, cool. Air Jordan is giving us a Jordan 5 to celebrate their anniversary. It's only right that you give us a box to celebrate the anniversary as well. Put this in a different box instead of like your normal box packaging. Anyways, though, all black box, red Jordan jump man in the middle, just like every other Jordan 5 box. And this shoe is located over at Premium Kicks, guys. Just so if y'all was wondering, head over here, tell them that your boy Snipe sent you. They will definitely take care of you. So let's open these up and look at them together. I have not seen them yet. This will be my first time seeing them with you guys. And I got some, you know what I'm saying? I have some ideas. Let's see them together. One, two, three. Bow! Here they go. Check them out. A lot of things going on in this shoe, and it's not bad. I, every time I get a shoe for the first time, it, 
these just look good. I'm not gonna care. These, <laughs> hey, <laughs> surprisingly, these look good. And from the colorway, it kind of reminds me of a spitz. Like, it got like a lot going on in the shoe. So I'm gonna let, let y'all see that. Get like a nice, in depth look at that. Jordan Air on the back, purple tongue here. Oh man, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is definitely a good one. So looking over this shoe at first, man, I, I, I see in the pictures, I don't know why every time I see pics, I'm let down, but looking at it now, this new bug is so soft. They got the great five tongue, man. They got like this, like the bottom kind of reminds me of, uh, what is that, what is that? The infrared five, not the infrared five, I'm sorry. Fire red five on the bottom. I'm not sure what, where the shark teeth come from. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure where the shark teeth come from, but the shark teeth is another uh, piece that's brought from another shoe. I'm sad I can't remember where the shark teeth came from with the shoe. That's tough. I know the, I know the tongue, I know the midsole, right? I know the outer sole. I don't know the shark teeth. That's just, that's gonna hurt me for a while. It's gonna hurt me. anyway. Uh, they've put together a top three, and I don't know the the whole sneaker pack. I feel bad. Regardless, guys, let's get into the full overall review and breakdown of this shoe. So starting off with the outer sole, we got a transparent outer sole almost like an aqua blue jump man in the middle. Moving up to the, like the base or the middle of the shoe, we get this red Nike sign with this red color blocking on the bottom. Moving up to the midsole, we get this red midsole. Kind of reminds me of the Air Jordan 5 Fire Red. And the shark teeth, I can't tell you where the shark teeth come from, and it hurts. I know I burned this up like a few times. Y'all understand, man, that hurts. Not knowing where the shark teeth, if y'all know, don't clown me. I just, I know, but I can't think of the shoe. Air Jordan 23 right above the midsole as well. Another thing that I like about the shoe is the Cajun. The Cajun has like that transparent Cajun. And what's cool about that is when it ages, it's yellow. You know what I'm saying? I like that age vibe. I actually like to wear age shoes. I don't know, it's like the history. You know, to see that, to see that Asian on the shoe definitely serves justice to me. A lot of times, Air Jordan, they'll change the Cajun to like a, the basic color of the sneaker. They won't keep it like that transparent color. It's the same as the outer sole. Once you wear it or once it get oxidized, it still changes colors. But I like it. It's something I like. Now, the tongue on this Air Jordan 5 is coming from the Great 5. Definitely one of my favorite Air Jordan 5s of all time. I love that shoe. Definitely got to be top five. Top five for me. I don't know what it is for you. Why not go ahead and throw the Nike Air on the back and just make us happy? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure that makes just about all of us happy. Your unit on the midsole as well. You know, nothing different than your regular everyday sneaker. And you got to have the lace lock, that pacifier lace lock on the laces as well. All black laces. I don't think they come with any spares. Let me go ahead and check the box just to make sure. Nope. No, no spare laces on this one. So you got your all black laces, no spares, and I wouldn't even use any spare laces. I know it got like a lot of different colors going on with the shoe, but I think black just about does it right. What's crazy is I can throw this pair of shoes on feet right now, just fit. Now I'm just kidding around, but yeah, this is definitely uh, one of the best. I don't know how many Jordan 5s are coming out this year, but just looking at this and seeing that it's not a uh, non OG, it's just like something that Jordan brand put together. I can easily say it might be like top, one of the best Jordan 5s dropping this year. So my opinion just went from decent to one of the best five dropping this year based off one look. And that's how it works, man. I'm so undecisive, it actually kills me sometimes. So don't quote me, don't ever quote me because if you do, bro, you're just gonna be let down. I just, I'm just letting myself down at this point. I don't be knowing what to expect, man. When I get these shoes in hand, I just got a different feel for it. And it's like, when I don't see them, it's, I can't really get it together. So uh, yeah, that's just about it for the Air Jordan 5 top three. Are you guys looking for these? They will be available just about widely uh, June 13th. And as I was saying previously about the Air Jordan 6 hairs, I'm not really sure how they are gonna release due to this craziness, all the looting that's been going on with all of the stores. I'm not really sure how the placements are going to be with everything going on. So it's still a toss up when it comes to how available these are. As far as the resale value, I do want to give a quick look and see what these are going for. In my opinion, I don't think they'll be going for much. They will be coming in like toddler sizes, kid sizes, preschool sizes, the whole nine. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's cap. That, that is a bunch of caps. So I don't know if it's because this shoe has not came out yet, but on stock is right now, this shoe. <laughs> And the size 12 is going for $1,500. Size 9 going for $645. Size, size 11 and a half is going for $2,100. So it is going for a lot of bread. Okay, size 12, this shoe is going for $1,400. Size 11, it is going for a thousand. Size 11 and a half is going for $2,100. Now I could be terribly wrong, or it could just be obviously because the shoe hasn't came out yet. I have no idea. But if I'm that wrong, bro, y'all gotta excuse me. And also, if I'm that wrong, this shoe will be very hard to get. I should have checked that before I said that. 
definitely should have. However, man, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Air Jordan 5 Top 3 down below in the comments. Do not forget to head over to Premium Kicks, get them a follow. Really want to thank them for allowing me to come through and review these today. Also, guys, if you have not heard, we are doing a giveaway on the Air Jordan 6 hair. Very easy to enter. All you have to do is follow me over on Instagram, follow them on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and comment done under this photo. Once you do those three things, man, we will raffle these off and I will pick a winner on, what, Friday. Yeah, we're picking a winner for the Air Jordan 6 hairs on Friday. Do not forget, make sure that you do that. Till next time, man, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.